move. All right. So welcome everybody the day after the holidays and welcome to Shred Stories. And so today, my name is Robin, Certified Nutrition Specialist. Let me say that. And we're going to hear from shredders. And what are, what are shredders? I'll tell you that in a second. But we're going to hear from a variety of people telling their story of what they know about the shred and the benefits that they've garnered by doing that. And just to set this up, the shred, we, we do it as a lifestyle at least 10 days out of the month where we are flooding our bodies with whole foods and we're taking out the things that don't serve us. And it's a really, really good protocol to keep everything in alignment. So as you hear this stories, these stories, just know that we're not making any claims, health claims. We're just saying this is what their experience is and everybody's experience is their own. And so you, as a listener, perhaps you'll, you'll, can relate to some of these stories and want to know more about how you can become a part of our shred community. It is the best thing that I know. It's effective. And I'm not going to say any more at this time. So we're going to have Juliet just share why, why you shred, how long you've been shredding and what is your experience with that? Well, hi, everybody. It's so good to see all your faces on here. I have to give a big shout out to the other Juliet. Welcome. It's so nice. There's not very many of us. <laughs> well, anyway, so as she said, my name's Juliet, and just a little bit about myself. I'm a mom with two kids. I'm an elementary school teacher and a fitness trainer, and I have been doing the shred ever since it started for the last few years. I consistently do it every single month with my friends and my clients and my customers. And the reason I do it is because I've seen how successful it is for myself and others. And I cannot say enough great things about this program. This program is amazing. There's so many reasons why I love this program, but number one, as an educator, I love it because it educates people on how to be in their best health. It, it's not a program that just says, hey, here, do this program, but it gives you the tools that you need and educates you on why it works and, and what it does for the body. The second reason why I love this program is because the products. These products are amazing. They're all plant-based. Uh, I'm in, completely in love with the plant shake mix. I have a, a sweet tooth like a lot of us do. And the plant shake mix has really, really helped me change those unhealthy sugar habits to healthier ones. I love the shakes, the pudding, the protein balls. The other thing is the whole food capsules and chewables. Uh, they have helped our family bridge the gap between what we're, we should be eating and what we haven't been eating. Um, we as a, as a nation are simply not getting enough fruits and vegetables. So this these products have dramatically helped us. Uh, they've helped reduce the inflammation in my body. I'm no longer in any chronic pain due to the, the plant capsules that I've been taking over the years. Uh, the other thing I love about the program is the guidelines. The guidelines are excellent. They have helped me and they are going to help you adapt healthy habits. And this program is not a quick fix. A lot of us want to do the shred because we want to, you know, lose weight. And we want it to happen fast, but I'm telling you, it's not going to happen quickly. It's going to take a lot of hard work, dedication, and consistency. And that's why I've been doing it every month since it started. Consistency is key. The guidelines are going to help you get started and teach you how to be in your best health mm -hmm. and the community. So these guidelines, you know, they, they're not going to be easy. They're going to take work, but you have an amazing community that's going to love on you. They're inspiring, they're motivating, and they're going to give you the accountability and support you need to be successful. And so uh -huh. that's my story. I love so it. You found, thank you so much. So you found it re helped to reduce your inflammation. That's, that's so many people have inflammation and they don't even know that. Thank you so much for sharing that. And as Juliet mentioned about the product, so the, the, what we incorporate into the shred is we take whole food nutrition, so fruits and vegetables in capsules or chewables, raw fruits and vegetables, the pits, the peel, the seeds, ground up, water taken out. So it's literally fruits and vegetables in the capsule. That's what it is. No fillers, nothing extra. And then we also 
utilize a all plant based uh, uh, protein drink meal replacement. And that's pretty much all that we do. And the rest of it really is about learning the best, what foods work best for your body and the guidelines. We'll talk about those in a little bit, but we're going to bring on uh, Daryl. Hold on. I just wanted to say something else really quick, Rob, yes. not to mention. Um, like I said, a lot of people do the shred to lose weight and it's not mm -hmm. a weight loss program. Mm -hmm. um, but what I have found as a fitness trainer in my own journey is that you are inevitably going to lose weight because you're adapting healthy habits. Uh, yes. And what I... Through research, I don't know if you guys know this, but from the age of 30 on, did you know that the average person gains one to two pounds every year? Mm. Well, this program has helped me keep the weight off and it's helped a lot of my yes. customers and clients keep the weight oh, off. Gosh. Why are we gaining one to two pounds every year? Because we're not right. eating healthy and we're not moving. We're not drinking enough water. So that is the truth. And so you spoke about the guidelines. We talk about the guidelines. Yes. Part of the guidelines is move, so exercise drink enough water till your urine is clear. And that for some reason is very difficult for me. So the guidelines are not, they're they're hard for some because it's asking people to do what they don't do, which is do, do what's good for them. So thank you for that. Yes, we don't tout it as a weight loss program, but the side effects of doing these habits and behavior can be that. Yes, thank you so much for that. Absolutely, thank you. So Daryl, you are up next from Georgia. And Julia, what, what part of the country are you in? Oh, I'm in California. Oh, girl, you're right here with me. <laughs> I'm in Sacramento. Anyone else oh, okay. in Sacramento? I'm in SoCal. I'm in, I'm in oh, SoCal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down here where it's like 70 degrees. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is because it's winter. It's not supposed to be. Um, so Daryl in Georgia, right? Georgia? That's correct. All right, give us, how are you? And tell us about your experience with this whole food nutrition and the shred. Okay, thank you. Well, hello everyone. I'm Daryl Blunt and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm grateful to be at this event. And thanks Robin for inviting me to share my story. And I'm a proud father and grandfather of five adult children and one grandchild and expecting another one in the spring and March. I'm also a healthy living advocate, nonprofit executive and part-time entrepreneur. And so growing up, I learned some bad eating habits growing up and, and had no knowledge of the importance of eating a healthy diet. And I spent most of my life overweight and it has had a negative impact on my psyche, self-esteem and confidence. Privately, I felt ashamed of my body and myself, which is not the easiest thing to admit. In addition to the dissatisfaction I was feeling with myself, I have carried the frustration and sadness of watching my father, mother, brother, and now my best friend died in their 60s because of preventable chronic diseases. So 27 years ago, I was introduced to these concentrated fruit and vegetable plant-based powders and then this shred program in the last few, uh, four, I think four to five years. Mm -hmm. And now I'm building better health habits that my parents never did develop. I'm getting whole food plant-based nutrition in my diet every day, drinking plenty of water, exercising and sleeping better. I feel better than I've felt in a long time and I have a lot more energy. Mm. I'm participating in walks and races I never did previously. And I'm determined to give my body what it needs for a long and healthy life. I plan to be the grandparent my parents never fully got to be. So I'm so thankful that I learned about the power of fruits and vegetables. Um, just to, to the points Juliet made and what you said, just results. I didn't focus on weight loss. I just focused on getting healthy, eating these plants and following these guidelines in the program and what have you. But I can tell you the side effect for me has been the loss of 104 pounds over the last few years. Oh. And so I still got some more I want to do. I want to wow. do another 96 pounds. You're my target. And so uh, that's what I plan to do. And I'm well on my way to that objective. Oh, wow. And so, um, you know, it's been one of the, this, this whole thing about um, uh, these power, the power of these fruits and vegetables. That's what I've learned. And then it's been a big contributor to my improved health and, uh, you know, in a way to age with confidence. So thanks for inviting me and allowing me to share oh, uh, my Sarah, story with part of this. You know. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Was I supposed to cry? Because I did. <laughs> I was, you got me cry. Oh my gosh, 104 pounds? Are you kidding? Wow. The chat is blowing up. Thank you so much for your time and your sincerity and, and your inspiration. 
Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a, yeah. I'm, I'm always blown away, always blown away by the power of nutrition. Y'all we're not talking, we're talking about nutrition, we're talking about fruits, vegetables, and whole food, no gimmicks, no fads. This doesn't go out of style. It's always the part of, or part of the solution to better health. You go to the doctor, they're going to say, change your diet, add more fruits and vegetables. It works and it's true. And we do it in such a systematic, supportive way that you see these results here. All right, Nate the Great, where are you? Pastor Nate? Where's Pastor Nate? Pastor Nate. On my screen, I'm right here. There you are. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Okay. Well, what's your what's your deal? <laughs> How are you doing with all of this? I'm doing good. Uh, I've uh, I'm I've came in as sort of the critic to all of this stuff. Uh huh. You know, I don't really like anyone interfering with my baby back ribs. <laughs> and you want to talk about health around the holidays? You know, just didn't make a lot of sense to me. Until some years ago, when I got married, I was like, I had a lot of health issues. And that I thought that I would just deal with on my own until I found out that there was actually some resources out there that sort of helped me along. So uh, I was 2016, I, I, I went from 225 pounds to 170. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that was with the help of my wife, Bernetta. And uh, I was like really shocked that you could actually live healthy, <laughs> <laughs> live healthier. You know, I, I think the amazing thing was like a lot of times if you don't do these shreds before you know it, you find yourself back on the same pattern or same road to uh, unhealthy living. I, I found that out to my amazement probably about two weeks ago. Ah. I uh, I found out that I had went back to 213 pounds. Oh wow! And I, you know, I was was healthy. I thought I was feeling good, and I think the main reason I, I and I am healthy. I'm not. I don't feel like I'm sick or anything, but I I do have uh, a concern about weight. Okay. I don't want to be you know, 200 pounds, you know, mm -hmm. I want to, uh, my, my perfect weight for me is like 190. Mm -hmm. I couldn't live with the, with the 170. Just I felt <laughs> like if a wind blow, I would fly away. So, <laughs> and, and it does something as a man, you just don't want to be too light. Mm -hmm. So I got it to 190 and then I sort of went on vacation. Mm -hmm. And when I got off my vacation, I was 213 pounds again. So just this last week, I started an, a regiment of getting that weight back down. So today I'm at 202. Oh, good. It'll and be. and I've done, I did that in like a week. Once you learn the strategies of how to lose weight, what not to eat, mm -hmm. you know, you can sort of control your weight. You know, you, you, can, you can lose a certain amount of pounds without any problem. But the problem is taking your focus off of eating healthy, mm -hmm. you know, staying away from the dairy products, you know, staying away from the fast foods. Fast food to me is like a killer. <laughs> I stay away from those totally. Now I used to live on fast food, but now, you know, every time I, I pass by the window, so I just blow the horn, you know. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it's very important, you know, I, um, uh, I'm like in love with the the uh, Juice Plus, yeah. love with the Juice Plus products. Juice Plus got me off of the peach rings, three or four bags a week, to just eating gummies like I'm losing my mind, you know. And, <laughs> and so I, I was really glad to hear that you can't overeat the gummies. Right. I was yeah. really glad to hear that. And so... Just recently, I, I I still use the gummies, but I went from gummies to capsules. Seem like the capsules do a lot more, work a lot faster. Ah. So I, I prefer the, the capsules now, but you know, 
you know, just for memory's sake, I keep the gummies around. For that. Thank you yeah. so much for, for sharing that. And so Nate said a couple of things about the guidelines. And another one as we go through this is that we pull back on dairy and processed foods during this shred period. So we're, you know, dairy no, because it promotes for some bloatedness and allergies and things that people don't realize. And then with the processed foods, that's self-explanatory. We're not doing sugars. We're doing natural whole foods. So when we do that, again, we're taking out what doesn't serve us. And then we're flooding our bodies with what does serve us. It has a phenomenal, phenomenal effect. And, and what is true for Nate, which is true for a lot of us, is there's there's these, these, I would say it's like we're on a mechanical bull. Sometimes we're doing it well and we're on top of things. And then, you know, a holiday comes or a vacation, we fall off. There is no get there in terms of our health and nutrition. It's always working on it, but having the tools, which is what is good about the shred is you have the tools, you have the community and you know how to course correct. So thank you so much, Nate, for sharing that. We appreciate that. And then Terry, Terry Spencer, where are you? And, and Nate, you're in California, right? In California? Yes, Ontario, California. Yep, yep. So Terry, where are you? Terry Spencer, where are you? Thank you so much, Hi. Nate. All right, so I was having problems with my, can you hear me? Yes, where are you from in the country? Yeah. I am from uh, sunny Arizona. Oh, okay, got it, got it, yeah. got it. Yeah, if and I we, was outside, I would tell you how nice it is outside, but. Yeah, we're, it's nice here too. So share with us your shred story. And you, I wanna, I wanna make mention of this is oftentimes a lot of our shred stories come from women but in the men are in the background. I don't know why. They, I don't know if you're shy or what happened. But, but now we're like, yeah, shred is for women, for men, for everybody. <laughs> so thank you so much, Terry. Share with us your, your shred story. Thank you, Robin, for allowing me to share my story. I appreciate it. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I am in sunny Arizona. Uh, I am a, a certified health coach and an advocate for uh, introducing healthy eating to other individuals uh, within not only my family, but other people too. But my story, as far as the shred is concerned, kind of started back when it was the Transform 30. Mm -hmm. Now, the, just as the name says, 30, that was for 30 days. Mm -hmm. Now, this program, program was really tough, but it was it was doable with the mindset. If you change your mindset, as uh, Dr. Mitri Ray said, that you can do anything for 10 days, you can also do anything for 30 days. Mm -hmm. And so I took that challenge on and it didn't go so well the first, the first time I did it. Mm -hmm. However, um, with, with the, and you're gonna talk about it even, even, even more after this, is that with the guidelines, it allowed me to change my habits as far as eating, uh, getting rid of some of the things like uh, sugars and gluten and dairy, and in adding more of the fruits and vegetables, and not only that, but uh, Robin, you mentioned it earlier about water intake. Is that increasing your water intake too, as well, allows you to uh, help process some of those foods. And so changing that lifestyle, uh, the second time I did it, I was able to do the whole 30 days mm -hmm. of transforming uh, my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention doing, adding the fruits and vegetables into my diet and getting rid of some of the other things. Mm -hmm. uh, Daryl mentioned it too, and, and Juliet mentioned it too, is that introducing these plant powders into uh, my regimen uh, also afforded me the, the uh, avenue of intaking more of the, the variety of fruits and vegetables that I didn't do before. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times what we do is we like to eat what we like will eat something that is familiar to us. And this allows us to step out without stepping out, if that makes sense. Yeah. So we can start eating other things that we don't, don't normally eat, which is are in the plant powders. And so that was a, a, a game changer for me in that it, uh, it craved my, or it curbed my cravings for other things. It, it curbed uh, a lot of the bad habits. And then uh, what I found from doing that is I got better sleep, of course. Um, of one of the most interesting things was that my strength was increased, which was funny. I was like, okay, so how is plant powders doing that for me? How is eating fruits and vegetables doing that for me? It was interesting. I was able to uh, increase my strength, which was great. Uh, getting up in age, my reaction time and my response time was a little bit faster too as well. Who knew? 
But anyway, so I was I was at, I was happy when they changed it from the Transform 30 mm-hmm. to what our program is now, which is Shred 10. You still get the benefits of jump starting into that 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 detoxing and that uh, uh, changing your lifestyle and changing bad habits into good habits, but it also gives you that opportunity to maintain the rest of the month, mm-hmm. you know, to the start of the next one, which was good. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I recently retired from my full time job, oh. and sometimes during the during the days when I was working, I didn't really get lunch a lot of the times. And so I found that when I was doing the program mm-hmm. that by giving my body what it needed, when the lunchtime came around or when I felt like uh, I needed to eat something, I was able to sustain or maintain because my body was already getting some of the good stuff that it needed. And it wasn't craving some of the bad stuff. And it wasn't saying, hey, I'm hungry, give me something to eat. And so I thought that was interesting too. And mm-hmm. so like the Transform 30, the Shred 10 program, it gets easier the more you yeah. do it, yeah, right? It and then as you do it, as often as you do it, you'll start to see some of those lifestyle changes come about. And so Absolutely. I love the program. I continue to do it. Um, I may not do it with everybody else, but I do the maintenance too. And so I, I think that is a good way of, of uh, changing, Your habit. changing what you want. You, yeah. you said something great where it used to be, we used to ask people to do this for 30 days. And so Correct. that, you know, maybe be intimidating. And so in saying to someone, do these, these, and I will, I will repeat what the guidelines are for 10 days, because you can do anything for 10 days. And what we know is that after the 10 days, people tend to feel really good where they're like, okay, I want to do this for 11 days and 12 days. So it's dipping your toe in to try it. And to see that how 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 it works for your body. Thank you so much, Terry, for that. So I'm going to review the guidelines. And for those of you that are listening, we may have time for one more story. But for those that are listening, I I encourage you to get with the person that invited you here, so that you can come a part of our shred community because it's the end of the year, and we're going to start shredding January fourth. So the first Monday of the year, we're going to kick it off. So we want you all to be a part of that. But here are the guidelines. We're we're pulling back on for the 10 days, no gluten and no dairy, processed foods um, and sugar. (laughs) And we are drinking enough water so that your urine is clear. You're exercising most days. You're sleeping. See, none of this sounds absurd, right? We're not asking you to do anything horrible. We We want you to eat. You're going to replace one or two of your meals with the whole food plant-based shake, one or two. And then you're going to flood your body with the plant powders, either by capsule or by chewable, because that's your micronutrients that gets to you at a cellular level. When you hear people talking about just all the results, it's in combination with, again, removing what doesn't serve you and flooding your body with what does. There are... uh, recipes, nutrition guidance. Our community is full of experts. So we we have uh, a Facebook group. We have diff- um, different shred leaders have a text group that we connect with shredders and keep them, hold them accountable and check in with them. And so when you're doing the shred, you adhere to the guideline, you connect with the community, you flood your body. We wanna know how that's going for you. And when you're, when you're new to doing this, again, some of the guidelines, as I mentioned, may be hard for you. And let me clear this up. It used to be no coffee and no alcohol. And so why those guidelines have loosened is with coffee, you're not putting any dairy or any sugar in there. So if you want your coffee black, enjoy yourself because <laughs> that's just, you know, you can still do it. And a lot of people sometimes they get headaches if they don't have coffee. So we've loosened that one. And the other one about alcohol, so a lot of alcohol has has sugar in it. And since we're not doing sugar, that will eliminate a lot of the alcohols, but there are hard seltzers that do not have have sugar. So the alcohol requirement has been uh, pushed to the side, but overall, those are the guidelines. And we do this again every single month because you you come back, you pull yourself back by coming back for the 10 days and you, you're not always perfect, right? Every shred gets better because maybe one shred you were doing better with exercise and not water. And the next time you were doing better with water and exercise, but you, oh, the other one is not to eat after six, six or seven. That's the other guideline I miss is that 
you're cutting off eating. So you put all of that together and it is a complete recipe for success. So again, I say to contact the person that invited you here so that you can get started. The shred is completely a phenomenal investment that is affordable. And when I tell you it's affordable, I am frugal as can be. And if I can do the shred, <laughs> y'all can do the shred. There's so many perks and bonuses that come uh, with that. So what I'd like to do, um, you know, so someone said they highly recommend avoiding caffeine to get better results. I don't, yeah. So that that is um, an individual opportunity because <laughs> I know some people, they do it. It's great. They do it. But, but yes, Juliet says, do that. So before we close this up, and I would say this to you again, to please contact the person that invited you here so that you can get on board with us. It's, it's, you can do anything for 10 days and what if? What if you don't do the shred? Then what are you gonna do? But if you do do the shred, it opens up a whole realm of possibilities for you and your nutrition. So does anybody want, I have, I have my stories, but, and I'm actually gonna stop the recording, but is there anyone that just want, this has a burning shred story that they really want to just hop in and tell. This is impromptu, but let me know if there's